Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Hey, so everything we went over, hey, my sister right here, everything we was going over today, what question do y'all have? Because we had, you stood up before two teachers. I know you just got here. You stood up one and a half teachers. So anything that we went over today, you guys have questions on? No. Okay, so I got a question for you then. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Huh? You an Israelite. Oh, you agree with that, my sister? You an Israelite? That's your nationality? What about you, sister? So you guys are Israelites according to the Bible. Which tribe is specific? What tribe are you from? You said Judah. You Judah. What's you? What's she say? You Judah as well? Okay, all praise. So I want to make sure before you guys leave, you leave here with some understanding. So no more African American, all right? No more black. No more Negro, color, or spick. Y'all understand that? See, I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 know, I know some things. I, like, uh -huh. I, I know some things. Like, but I ain't gonna sit like I can't learn more. Right. Or be around. What's that? Uh, yeah. Wisdom is principle. Wisdom is principle. Proverbs. Like, wisdom is principle. Yeah, I know. Where we from and, 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 and who we are. Oh, I'm listening, bro. Proverbs 4 7. So, but I'm always, you know what I'm saying, got a mind open to learn more or just, you know, like I say, see what, that's why I stopped to see. Oh, praise. Yeah. That's, that's good. But I don't want you to take our words specifically for it. I want you to actually check the fly out. All you guys, check that fly out. Listen. I mean, excuse me, check the fly out, research and read and listen to what's coming out, okay? Because the, we differ from the Christian pastors. Yeah. I want y'all to understand that. Like, we don't just go off. Listen, look, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the history is within itself, too. Itself. Right. So it's like, even when you do learn things, like I say, like I'm saying, like I was explaining, when you do learn things, um, it's something that resonates like even though, like, like I say, like, besides, see, I read things and pay attention to things, and also what people say, um, I don't, so most of the time I don't have to research it, because guess what? Yeah. I feel what the Spirit's gonna let me know. Okay. Feel, you said a lot, but I want you, to, I want to read the scripture to you. Read that one. You got it? This is the book of Proverbs, chapters 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy get, get, get understanding. You hear that? Read it again. Wisdom is the principal thing. So wisdom in this life, if any of you blacks and Hispanic want wisdom or desire wisdom, God said it is the principal thing in life. It is the chief thing in life. In order to conduct yourself properly on this earth, you have to have a certain level of wisdom. God said wisdom is the principal thing. Read. Therefore get wisdom. Read it from the top. Wisdom is the principal thing. Uh -huh. Therefore, get wisdom. Uh -huh. And with all, get thy, get it, thy understanding. So it says, when you get wisdom, also get understanding on how to move with that wisdom. Okay? So how do you get the understanding? Give me Psalms, one, uh, Psalms 111 and 10 on how to move, okay? So we're going to get you the wisdom of God. Proverbs, I mean, excuse me, Psalms 111 and 10. You gotta, this is what y'all got to understand. We, we, don't, we don't want you guys to leave here without any understanding, okay? Or, or a greater level of wisdom. And we're going to get you what God wisdom is. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Uh -huh. And good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Read it again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the real wisdom, first you got to fear the Lord. You have to fear what the Lord can do to you. Because in Christianity, we is taught what? That God is all love. Come as you are. Stay as you are. We can do whatever the hell we want to do. And then we'll be okay. That's not according to the Bible. You must fear God. Why? This is why you must fear God. Because we, the, the, the prophet was going over earlier. Who did this to us? Who let this, who let this, who allowed it, who allowed this to happen to us? God. The most high God. Y'all understand this? God let that happen to us according to the Bible because we did not listen to his commandments, okay? That's why it said the beginning of wisdom is to fear God. That's your first step. They want to listen no more. Okay, so I want y'all to understand that. Read it again. 
The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So you got to fear God's judgments. So for an example, if you steal something from someone, right? It's a judgment behind it when you get caught. You understand? And it's also a judgment with God if you steal. Sisters wearing pants. It's a judgment for that. So we must fear God's judgments. And that is the boy at the first step of wisdom. That's the first step to being a wise man, okay? Fearing the God. Hold on, brother. We got I'm gonna let the scripture roll out. Read. A good understanding. A good understanding, read. Have all they that do his command have all the Israelites that do God's commandments. Y'all understand that, sisters? So that is what the uh, wisdom is. You have to keep the commandments first and fear God. That is the first step to being wise. Okay, we got some commandments. Did you get? Y'all went over Deuteronomy 22 and 5 with the sisters, right? So y'all understand that you must do what? From wearing pants. Huh? Okay. So you must stop wearing pants. Give me that uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 5 just for the sister. We read this with you already, but I want to get her so she can understand it, so she can know we're not making this up. This is thus saith the Lord. Okay? Read that. I know, I know that we're not this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So you said you know this already. You said you, you read it with you already. So go to Acts 3 and 19 then. Go, go to Acts chapter 3 verse 19 because what's going on today is you have man waking up for the words of the Most High so we can keep, keep our people out of this uh, destruction and get them to repent. Okay? We tired of all the foolishness that's going on in the communities and we here standing today showing our people how to come up out of that foolishness that you're in. Alright? Read. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted uh -huh. that your sins may be blotted out. You know what God said? He said repent. One thing you have to repent from is the wearing of those leggings, of those pants. Repent. Read. When the, repent ye therefore and be converted. So you must be converted or you must be born again. You understand that? I know a lot of times in Christianity they throw that term around loosely. But in order to be born again you have to change. Change according to what your pastor say? Do you have to change according to what your pastor say? You, you got to change according to what? Well, God said, God said a woman is supposed to dress how? Huh? Like a woman, which, what, what, which, what attire is that? A dress. A modest dress, flowy dress. That's how sisters must dress. Those are steps to being converted, okay? Now give me, uh, read, finish that up. That your sins may be blotted out. And then God will blot your sins out, meaning he will forgive you for your transgressions after you've converted and confessed them to him, okay? Read. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Okay, and that's talking about when, when Christ returned and he uh, sent nuclear, when, when, he, when Christ returned, thermonuclear destruction is coming to this place. ICMB missiles. It's going to hit America. It's going to hit a few other places as well, okay? But God is telling you, before that happened, he's giving you guys the opportunity to, to repent now. That's why we're coming out today to read you guys the Bible on what to do in order to get yourself right with the Most High. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.